All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the, edify the sheep. In all spirit, truth, sincerity, faith, and doctrine. All right, and uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's a um, you know the time is ticking on you women. You 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 know you are uh, you are women. Excuse me. All right, you women of uh, the nation of Israel. Okay, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indian women. Okay, you know you women are very comfortable here. In uh, Esau's queendom, okay, here in Babylon the Great, okay, here in Satan's seat, okay, all of your lust, all of your, you know, uh, sins and iniquities, you know, and the poisons and the wine of Esau Edom, okay, his philosophies and ways of life, the heathenistic ways of life, okay, you women are very comfortable with, okay, and um, it's just great to see that. It's well, it, it's going to come to an end because it's prophecy. OK, but it's good to see that it's actually coming to fruition. And uh, the name of this um, this uh, lesson through the spirit will be, you know, the beginning of the end. OK, or the beginning of the downfall of, you know, uh, 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 Eve, you know, or the women in Israel, the Israelite women. OK. And so I'm, I'm going to start off with this uh, article here. All right. And the article is by The Spectator. All right. TheSpectator.com. OK. And it um, says there's nothing empowering about uh, the sex work on OnlyFans. OK. For those that don't know, or I'm pretty sure you guys have read the title already. This is about OnlyFans. OK. And we'll get to that article in a minute. But I want to read this one just to make a point. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's start at the second paragraph here. It says the top earners of OnlyFans, that's OF, OnlyFans, are women, okay, whose subscribers are male, all right? So you have a lot of men or, you know, simps out here subscribing to these women, all right, these beautiful, attractive women, all right, that is uh, covering themselves in uh, witchcraft, you know. And what I mean by that is, is uh, deception, okay? Getting uh, butt implants, breast implants, you know, uh, maybe surgical procedures done to their faces, uh, weaves, makeup, and etc. That's not how they look, you know, but that's how they, you know, they, they're, they mask themselves, okay? It says, uh, continuing on, it says, these men pay between $5 to $20 a month to view images considered too pornographic for Instagram. OK, subscribers can also direct message women and pay tips to get personalized videos or photos depending on his individual sex tastes. All right. So that's pretty much where women are on. their doing they're on there pretty much prostituting. OK, let's just tell it like it is, you know, uh, you, I mean, you know, men, we 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 we're in the world, you know, we, we see women all the time. You know, some of them or most of them are beautiful women. OK. And, you know, with this only fans, you know, they don't leave anything for the imagination. OK. All right. Those are, the, you know, a woman's body, you know, uh, is only supposed to be seen by her husband. OK. That's number one. OK. So for her to sell herself, that is a form of prostitution. OK, let's just keep it real. All right. Uh, third paragraph. Let's read. Only fans is a huge money machine and is doing extremely well during the COVID-19 uh, lockdown. OK, <clears throat> it says it now has around 17.5 users it's like 17.5 million users worldwide. OK, so this is a worldwide thing. All right. So these women on here, not only are they making money, tons of money, but they're also, you know, somewhat celebrities. OK, it says in over 70,000 content creators. OK, you see that 
it says who have received over a hundred and fifty million dollars since its launch okay now you have the um uh uh what's the uh the uh the the rapper chick okay night named uh, bad baby you know the chick that said catch me outside you know you have her she just turned 18 earlier this year and immediately the first thing she did was start up an only fans page okay and literally within the first week or the first month i'm not I'm not pretty sure but she made a million dollars man a million dollars you see that's how much money these women are making now you know it says uh continue reading it says content provides uh, so like a content providers keep 80 percent of the of their income okay it says while the company takes the remaining 20 percent years after sites like Pornhub uh, began streaming free videos, OnlyFans is putting the money back into into you know adult content. Okay, so I wanted to read that man because now I want to get this scripture. All right, now let's get the scripture here in Jeremiah. So like you, um, Jeremiah thirty one and verse twenty two, and it reads, "How long?" So like it, how long wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughters? Okay. So this is talking about the women of the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indian women. All right. You see? And you're backsliding because you are you are rebelling against the Heavenly Father, okay? Even unknowingly, okay? Which at this point you should know because the men of the, the men of the Lord that the Lord has set up through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai have been set up all over the world man all right you see in all pretty much all major cities man you have brothers you know uh, um, um out there on the highways and hedges you know warning you and telling you what the lord expects from the men and the women of the nation of israel okay so you have been warned so now you know you know you're pretty much you know uh willingly rebelling against the heavenly father yahweh okay so that's why you're backsliding daughters. OK, it says for the Lord, Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. OK, and that's what you're seeing now today. OK, which started off with the uh, feminist movement. OK, I think that happened right after World War World War Two. All right. You know, you had you had she saw or, or you know, Esau Edom, you know, uh, uh, um, the woman of that nation, the so-called white women. All right. Used, you know, you are uh, you are uh, Eve's. OK, you are uh, you are women of the nation of Israel. All right. To, uh, you know, help them spearhead in, you know, the rights for women. You know, you see naming it the Feminist Act. All right. To to uh, to uh, pretty much empower women. OK, make women, you know, uh, um, give women rights, you know, to the level of a uh, um, uh, uh, men, you know, give them freedom. OK. And now we're seeing the results of that, man. Okay. Now you have these women, man. They're just running wild, man. Okay. And yeah, now they're making buku, you know, um, amounts of money. Okay. Large amounts of money. And not just even in, you know, the uh, OnlyFans realm, but, you know, in just all in, in, in every fashion of the world. Okay. You see, you have these women, you know, pretty much being gifted, you know, large amounts of money, you know, and, um, that's how, you know that's uh, one of the ways that women have compassed the man okay because women how here they think that they don't need a man you know most women most of our women are right, two thirds of the nation of Israel as far as the women Salakia as far as the women all right they hate they hate the men okay they especially the Israelite men they you know you guys hate us all right matter of fact I'm gonna play this clip and then we'll come right back another person's perspective i would not think that either you know i do only fans for a living but you guys there's there's also stories that's why people do that you know mm -hmm. um i have a no, lot of... right 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 i'm just saying yeah. that's just another reason i just i understand my image is just like 
I wouldn't blame anyone for thinking it's double yeah, digits. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even thinking of only fans. We don't judge. No, but I, no, that was just an example yeah. of why like people yeah. might think it could be double digits. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a hoe to the to the view to the naked eye. Like you see me, and that's my image. I make myself look like that. I dress like that. I put myself on the internet like that. But that's not who I am. It's not what I like. If you ever were to approach me in public and I don't know you, you're probably gonna get slapped if you dare even say hi to me, touch me, breathe near me, try to approach me. I don't like men in nope. general. I do not like men. I don't like you to don't be like touched. Men? I don't like to be touched. I don't. I don't want to be hollered at. Don't whistle at me. I fucking hate men. So, question. Um, I so, really, really do. So, I mean, not like you guys who are respectful, but. And there you have it. Okay. So, you know, as you can see in the clip, you know, and that clip also, you know, fair use YouTube. This is fair use. This is for educational purposes. All right. So, uh, in that clip, that that's actually a clip from the show that me and the brothers actually watch. It's called Fresh and Fit. Okay. So, um, yeah, so uh, the, the two guys, you know, the host of the show, the two men, um, they, they pretty much bring women onto the show and get their perspective and then actually correct them, you know, and bring them back to reality. OK, so as you can, you know, as you've seen in the clip, you know, they had uh, two I'm not even going to say women, you know, but they had two chicks on the show. You know, uh, one of them actually does uh, uh, only fans. You know, as you heard in the clip, okay, but you heard it out of her own, her own mouth, man, okay, and that and that was a Jake, by the way. I think that was an Ephraimite, if I'm not mistaken, a so-called Puerto Rican, okay. But as you heard out of her own mouth, you know, she effing hates men, you know, and that's that's how a lot of the you know the uh, the uh, Israelite you know women feel about the Israelite men, okay, or just men in general, okay, well especially the Israelite men, okay, and um. Yeah, man. You know, that's 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 the results of, you know, uh, um, the rebelliousness, man, that, you know, our women have against the Heavenly Father. All right. And his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. You see. And uh, let's let's get some more scriptures. Salakia. You know, but, you know, judgment is coming, man. OK. Matter of fact, Salakia, let me let me get this article first and foremost. All right. Let's get this article here. All right. And this is from the Hollywood Reporter. OK. And that's how you noted that this is actually prophecy, man, because, well, you know, you know, um, as far as, you know, like a smaller level of prophecy, you know, about the downfall of, you know, the the uh, the uh, pride, you know, bringing low that pride of our, our women. OK. The women of the nation of Israel. OK. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indian women. OK. Is because it's really it's 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 big news, man. You know, it's on TMZ, it's on you know, uh, uh, World Star, it's on all the major um, uh, um, news sites. Okay, even the smaller ones. Okay, and this and this just came out. You know, so uh, this is from I just I just picked a random one, um, but this one is from the Hollywood Reporter dot com. All right, it says only fans to ban pornographic videos after pressure from businesses it's like from business partners okay which are the banks okay because I, I, I read another article earlier and it's pretty much from their business partners which are you know you know uh, um, bank bankers okay they're pretty much uh, putting the clamps down on them man you know for them to because I'm pretty sure whoever started this site you know didn't really intend for for it to you know you know blow up as a uh, as a, a porn site OK, you know, so they want to get it back to, um, you know, it's right. It's it's a rightful, you know, uh, um, position. OK. And I mean, rightfully so. You know what I mean? And it's 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 ultimately the Heavenly Father, man, because these women are prideful, man. OK, prideful, man, as you saw in the video. OK, I effing hate men, Ugh. you know, like like men just disgust her, man. And that's how a lot of our women feel, man. OK. Even if they don't say it, man, you know, they show it, man. OK, you know, but uh, I'm not even going to read the article. You know, it, you know, the, the title speaks speaks for itself. OK. All right. Only fans to uh, ban porn uh, um, pornographic videos after pressure from uh, um, partners. OK. Business partners. OK. So let's get right into the scriptures. I don't want to make this video too long. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this. All right. 
This is from the book of Second Edges, chapter 16. OK, so let's go into prophecy, man. All right. Because you women, you hate men. Right. OK, but prophecy shows us. OK, and pro so like a prophecy tells us. OK, us, us, us men in this truth. All right. That understand and that can see the future. OK, per se, through the spirit, which is the scriptures. All right. We understand what's coming. OK. And you women are going to be. Uh, you're going to need a man. OK. Eventually, you're going to need a man. All right. That's pretty much the point. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 30. I'll start at verse 33 and it reads the virgins. All right. So this is a prophecy. OK. This has not happened yet. OK. This this is going to happen. OK. When the Lord brings those plagues and those judgments to America. All right. All over the world, really, but mainly here in America. OK. The famines, which is the lack of food. There's not going to be any food out here. OK. The lack of water, the lack of bread, uh, uh, um, um, the lack of resources, the lack of safety. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. Because scriptures also talk about, you know, men and women. It's so like a men spoiling, uh, 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 um, spoiling their neighbors homes, you know, roughly paraphrasing because of the lack of bread, because of the, because of the lack of food. OK. So these things are happening. So you're going to need protection. You're going to need, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, food. You're going to need support, you know. You're going to need to know how to survive because, I mean, let's just keep it real, man. You know, so like if, uh, you know, rambling, you know, but I just wanted to add, you know, let's just keep it real, man. The average woman, especially the average Israelite woman, OK, doesn't know how to do the basic, simple, everyday things to survive and to live. OK, most women don't know how to cook. Most women don't know how to really. Re I'm talking about really clean. OK, you see. Most women don't know how to survive, man. OK, if 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 you guys run out of food and water, you know, the first thing a woman want, want, wants to do is go to the grocery store. But guess what? It's not going to be any food and water or supplies in, in the, in, in the uh, grocery stores. Then what? You know, oh, I'm just going to go to my local pond or lakefront and just drink that water. You can't do that. It's contaminated. All right. So how do you get it from the point of, you know, you know, grabbing that water, however you're going to grab it? You know, bringing it back to, you know, your uh, your uh, your uh, home. OK. And and uh, purifying that water so that it's safe to drink. You don't even know how to do that. OK. How are you going to wash your clothes? How are, how are you going to how how are you going to keep yourself, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 clean? You know, things of that nature, man. Women don't have women don't have a clue. OK. But guess who does? Us men. We do. Us men do. <laughs> You see, and we're very simple. OK, so like it, we're very and we're very simple. You know, you women are not simple. You're just simple minded. All right. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 33. And it reads, the virgins shall mourn. OK, so you're going to mourn, which means to which means to weep and cry. OK. Having no uh, bridegrooms. OK, the women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. OK, so there's not going to be any men out here. I mean, you 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 hate men, right? <laughs> you know, so there's going to be a lack of men. OK, not only a lack of food, but a lack of men out here, man. OK, because, they're you know, the men are going to die from the, the, the uh, famines. All right. And also this. Verse 34. In the wars. All right. Because World War Three is coming. OK. And if you're paying attention to the news, you see it brewing up. OK. All right. Which I'm pretty sure you're not paying attention to the news. But, hey, we're here to tell you that uh, it says. In the wars shall their bridegrooms. All right. So the men uh, be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. OK, so the men that you do have in your lives all right, is, is are going to either starve to death or going or, or going to get judged some way somehow during during the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? The scriptures talk about perilous times, man, okay? There's evil days coming. There's evil days that are approaching. And the and the word evil when you go into the uh, etymology of the word evil, it means bad times. Okay? How are you women going to survive? All right? Your money is going to mean nothing. Your business is going to mean nothing. Your beauty is going to mean nothing. Okay? It's not going to help you in that day, man. All right. The scriptures even tell you that, man. All right. It says uh, uh, here, here now these things and understand them. 
ye servants of the Lord. So we're the only ones that can even understand what the you know what the Lord is even saying. We we're the only ones that can even understand what's coming. You see? And you know, so so that we can prepare for it, you see? Which number one is faith, okay? Faith in the Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh Shai. All right. And you women don't have that, man. Okay? You don't have wisdom and, 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 and knowledge and understanding. You know, you barely have that of the world. Okay? Because guess what, man? With with with, with this OnlyFans, you know, site, you know, shutting down, a lot of you women are gonna go have to get regular jobs, man. All right. <laughs> you see? And, and 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 a lot of you women don't have any type of skill. Okay? It doesn't take a rocket science to it doesn't take a rocket scientist to um you know, take pictures naked or take videos naked, you know, and then sell them online. All right. You see, but you're going to have to but, but you're going to have to present some type of skill, man. OK. <laughs> and and, and hey, man, the water y'all about shimmy all shy, man. All right. I think I can speak for all brethren when I say, you know, brothers are waiting for the day to see you, you know, women, you know, especially I'm talking about you prideful women. OK, you two third women. OK of the nation of Israel, okay? You pompous women, okay? You menstruous women. <laughs> all right? As it is written in the scriptures, man. You know, we can't wait to see you guys, you know, uh, 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 um um, you know, pretty much go down, man, okay? Be humbled, all right? And the heavenly Father is going to do that. You see? Through his prophecies, man. Uh this book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11 and it reads, "And I will punish the world for their uh, for their evil, okay? You see, so that's so, so. This is what the Lord, this is what the Heavenly Father uh, uh, um, is going to bring to to uh, the people of the world, man. Okay, and you women are definitely of the world, man. It says, and the wicked for their iniquity. All right. It says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. All right. And 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 look, you women are very very arrogant. And very, very proud, man. And the Lord says he's going to cause that to cease. All right. Which means to stop. All right. Reading on, it says, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, man. OK. And you women are definitely terrible. OK. Your attitudes, every, everything, about your, your spirit, everything about you is terrible. OK. Only thing good is, I guess, you know, you know, you're a, you're a beauty. OK. You see, which men just, you know, pretty much lust after you, man. OK, but but see, we've been warned about you women. OK, according to the scriptures. All right. And the scriptures, it, you know, it tells us, you know, uh, um, in the scriptures, it tells us um, to, uh, uh, um, um, you know, beware of the, the uh, beauty of a woman. OK, it's so like it's uh, uh, stumble not at the beauty of a woman. OK. All right. And I quote, all right, as it is written. You see, so we are, so we are, we, we're, you know, the men of the, the men of the Lord, we, we've already been warned about you guys, man. Okay. So we don't stumble at your beauty. Okay. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't fall for the witchcraft, man. Okay. Mm. All right. Reading on verse 12, it says, I will make a man, ooh, not a woman. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. All right. So things are going to be flipped back upside down. All right. Because remember, I read earlier. All right. The scripture says that uh, on the Lord, the Lord will will, will uh, make a new thing in the earth. He was going to make a woman come past a man. And that's what you're seeing now, man. But 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 you're also seeing right now. So like that's what you have been seeing. OK, the woman being being above the man. OK, being put on a pedestal over the man. OK, you see. But now what you're seeing is you're seeing that shift, okay? Because the world is changing, whether people like it or not, okay? You see? Because guess what's next, man? The scriptures talk about Esau is the end of the world, okay? So this is Esau's world right now, and it's coming to an end, okay? It says it says Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? So right after his world is taken down, his empire, his rulership, okay, is taken out of the way. We're going to be in, we're going to rule. OK, but we're going to rule it and we're going to rule the world in righteousness. OK, the right way, the way the Lord, the Heavenly Father. All right. Yahweh intended. OK, so, of course, things are going to be in order. And that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing that shift for things to be back in order. All right. Because as it is written, all right, the man is the head of the woman. 
Okay, not the other way around, man. So all you proud and arrogant women, man, you 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 gonna have to get in line, man. Okay, and if you don't, judgment is judgment is gonna be awaiting for you. Okay, you see, by the heavenly Father, man, He's gonna cause something to happen. Okay, happen to you. Uh, verse twelve: I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even the man. So like even a man than a gold wedge of Ophir. Okay, Ophir. All right. So that's what's coming, man. All right. The man is going to be more precious than fine gold, man. OK, but not just any man. OK, not 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 your regular Tyrone up the block, you know, with tattoos and, you know, uh, 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 wearing a beater tucked inside of his uh, boxer drawers, man. All right. With a pistol on him, smoking some weed. All right. Not that nigga. OK, that nigga is going to get judged. OK, but a man of the Lord shall be made more precious than fine gold, man. OK. All right. Because we're going to be rare. Hell, we're rare now. OK, <laughs> you see, but in that time, man, there's not going to be any men. We just read it. OK, the women are going to mourn having no men around, man. OK, only men are going to be left are the men that the Lord is going to be taking care of. OK, the Lord is going to be protecting and providing for. All right. And that's going to be the men of the Lord. All right. That have been doing his work that has that, that have been serving him. These niggas out here are not serving the Lord and you women aren't either. OK, you see. And a lot of you women aren't going to get with the program because you are overly you are you are you are too proud and too arrogant. All right. You're at the point of no return. OK. And in that day, you, we're going to deny you. OK. It says, uh, so lucky. Let me uh, let me get this and make this point. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter four and verse one. OK. Because remember, I mentioned only the men of the Lord are going to be made more precious than fine gold. Man. All right. And you women, you know, if 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 you're still here at that time or at that point in time, all right, you're going to do this. Verse one, it says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. All right. And the word and that word seven, OK, means completion. All right. So it could be an actual number of seven or actual amount of seven women or it could be 70 or 700. OK, depending on whatever the Lord's will is. OK, you see guess what? In that day, man, you know, you know, it ain't going to be, a, you know, like, you know, like like uh, the brothers made the point, you know, I think uh, uh, last year sometime the brother made a beautiful video. Um, but it's not going to be like a Puff Daddy video, man. All right. It's not going to be all oh, I got all of these, you know, women on me and we'll, no, it's going to be scarce times, man. It's going to be serious times, man. These women are th these these are complete amount of women that are going to be coming up to a man of the Lord. OK are going to be uh, 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 malnourished, okay? You see? Uh, 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 dehydrated, okay? You see? Hungry, you see? All right? Scared, all right? Terrified, man. They're going to they're gonna want to seek uh, 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 um, um, a deliverance, man, from all of that, man, okay? And only a man of the Lord is going to be able to provide that, man, okay, in that time. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread. Yeah, you women are going to actually have to put your hands to use, man. And when I say that, you're going to have to work, okay? Because guess what? Ain't no man of the Lord, you know, we're not going to take you on, okay? Just just because, just because you're beautiful, just because you got, you know, you know, a fat derriere or, you know, some big tatas, man, or a pretty face. No, man, that's not even, we're not even going to be thinking about that at that time, man. OK, it's going to be very, very serious times, man. OK. And guess what? If we do take you on, man, you know, it's it, you, you're going to you're going you're gonna to put yourself to use, man. Can you cook? Can you clean? You know, can you can you, uh, uh, um, um, you know, wash clothes? All right. You see, can you keep your mouth shut? All right. Which a lot of you women don't know how to do. But in that day, trust me, you will. All right. It says we will eat our own bread. And wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay. And let's go into that word reproach just for edification's sake. All right. I know we I know brothers go into this all the time, but hey, you know, we, we have to stress these things, man. Okay. It says uh reproach. All right, the Hebrew word uh kapa, okay. And uh, for that word reproach, it means reproach, scorn, taunt, okay, 
upon enemy. It says reproach resting upon condition of shame, disgrace. Okay, you see that? So, so, so you're going to be coming up to men of the Lord asking them to take away your shame and your disgrace. Okay, and why are you going to be in disgrace and shame? Is because you're going to realize at that time, man, that you've disobeyed the heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, you disobeyed the the, the heavenly Father Yahweh's a uh, 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 law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, you see, you were totally out of line and out of order. Okay, and that's if you're lucky, man. All right. That's if, well, not luck, because there's no such thing as luck, but that's only if the Lord, the Heavenly Father, ordains you to, you know, uh, uh, come across a man of the Lord, man, okay? You see, and like I mentioned earlier, man, we're not going to take on every woman that that, that uh, we come across, okay? <laughs> you see? All right? The Lord's going to have to choose you, man, okay? It says, uh, Strong's definition, it says, um, disgrace and uh, pundenda. I don't, I don't know what that word means. Rebuke, reproach, uh, shame. You know, that that's pretty much the point, man. So you women are going to be begging a man of the Lord to take away your shame, okay? To feed your belly, okay? Put food inside of your belly, all right? Uh, I, I, I'm give you things to drink, all right? Give you peace and safety, all right? You see? So you women, so the point is, man, you know, the the, the Lord is is, is uh, creating that shift, okay? You see, creating that shift, all right, that's going to affect you women, okay? You see, the Lord is putting everything back in its proper order, man, okay? Oh, let me make this point too. Salakia, make this point too. I just want to make this point. You know, the Lord isn't just uh, bringing judgment on you men. He's bringing judgment on, it's like he's bringing judgment on, on, on you women. He's bringing judgment on you men too. Uh, if I can find it, I don't think I have it. Wait, do I have it? Is this it? Uh, no, that's not it. Right here. Right here. The water y'all about Shemal Shai. All right. I came across this, and I actually read the article too, but I just want to quickly mention it, okay? Um, you know, the Lord isn't just, you know, bringing the order back to, you know, back for you women, okay? Or, or you know, back, you know, uh, forcing you women to get back in order, Salakia. But he's also forcing uh, uh, um, um, these these uh, these niggas to get in order too, man. Which they're not, but you know he's putting an end to you know all all all, all of this uh, this um, uh, salakia. What does the the scriptures call it? Um, pretty much all of this perverse uh, um, iniquity that you know the nation of Israel, or right, two thirds of the nation of Israel, like to commit, you know, every day, okay, willingly, okay. So this reads, uh, Texas is the first state to make to make it a felony to solicit and in, in, uh, in a um, pander prostitutes. OK, and only fan is a pro like you, you women prostitute yourself on on, on uh, only fans, man. OK, you see, but for 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 you niggas. OK. All right. Because that's actually against the law. All right. You're not supposed to uh, uh, go out there and prostitute women, okay? You're not supposed to do that, man, okay? That, that's a, that, that's against the law according to the scriptures, man, all right? So the Lord's putting it into that too, man, and and, and it's going to keep coming, okay? All of these all of these perverse things or whatever are all going to be turned around, and then eventually it's all going to be, uh, uh, um, you know, um, blown away, okay? And when I say blown away, I mean by thermal nuclear Warheads, man. All right, that's going to be shot off by these other nations upon Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, you see, the scripture. The scripture says the things of this world shall shall uh, um uh, pass away. Okay, you see, so so all of these things are going to be wiped away. Okay, the internet, OnlyFans, prostitution, drugs. Uh, 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 niggardom, like as far as the gangster, the, the you know, the the rapping, uh, you know, the the trap rap, all of that's going to be done away with, man. Okay, and everything's going to be put back in order. Okay, you see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei All right, so um, I'm gonna end it there, Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the fed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shalom and a Baba Ball.